Class 11, we are continuing the chapter straight line in coordinate geometry. Okay. And uh, already we have started the uh, chapter and all the formations already done. Now, few things more we have to know, then we will start the exercise. Now, equation of any straight line is always a linear equation. Remember, this equation of a straight line, always a linear equation and which is the form AX plus by plus c is equals to 0. This is the linear equation form. Equation of a straight line is always in linear equation form and the equation is formation is ax plus by plus. This is the standard equation of a straight line. Remember this. And next is the equation of any straight lines through the point of intersection of the lines say a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0. This is equation number one equation. And another equation is a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals to 0. This is second equation. Now, what is the equation of any, uh, any one straight line through the point of intersection? That means, say this is one equation, this is another equation, another straight line. Okay, this is one straight line, this is another straight line. Now, the, through this point of intersection, Another straight line can be drawn. It may be like this or it may be this or maybe this or whatever. So, we have to find the equation of this another straight line. Okay. So, what will be the equation? Equation of a straight line which passes through the intersection of above straight lines okay then what will be the equation equation will be a1x plus b1y plus c1 plus k into a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals to 0 k is one constant term in arbitrary constant when k is any arbitrary constant any arbitrary constant that means we have to find the third equation in this way. Okay. Now, next is three given straight lines are concurrent if the point of intersection of any two of them satisfies the equation of the third line, third straight line. Three given straight lines are said to be concurrent. Three given straight lines are said to be concurrent if the point of intersection of any two of them satisfies the, there are three lines, one, two, three. So, we have to find the point of intersection of any two, say one and two point of intersection, we have to find out. Okay, now if the point of intersection satisfied with the third equation, if the point of intersection satisfies the third equation or the third equation is satisfied with the point of intersection of our other two equations, then only we can say the three lines are concurrent. Okay, got it? And now we will start the exercise. Let me wrap the board first. Exercise 2a. There are three um, exercises are there. 2a, 2b and 2c. So at first we will start with 2a. Exercise 2a. Uh, your sum number and from the from the book uh, i have done all the sum that sum number it may not match but sums are same you can get all the sums Find the inclination, the objective type questions, one point. Find the inclination of the line joining the points 
थ्री माइनस रूट थ्री एंड रूट थ्री माइनस वन ओके दीज आर द पॉइंट गिवेन वन एंड टू टू पॉइंट आर गिवेन यू टू फाइंड द इंक्लिनेशन इंक्लिनेशन वॉट इज द फॉर्मूला इंक्लिनेशन फॉर्मूला दट इज टेन थ्री टाइपल्स टू वाई टू माइनस वाई वन बाई एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन और वाई वन माइनस वाई टू बाई एक्स वन माइनस एक्स टू ओके सो हियर वॉट यू विल राइट वाई टू मीन्स माइनस वन वाई टू माइनस वाई वन सो इट इज कमिंग प्लस रूट थ्री बाय एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन सो रूट थ्री माइनस थ्री सो वॉट यू विल राइट वी कैन टेक कम ऑन रूट थ्री फ्रॉम द डिनोमिनेटर देन वॉट वी विल गेट हियर इट इज कमिंग रूट थ्री माइनस वन एंड हियर रूट थ्री टेक कम ऑन सो इट इज कमिंग रूट थ्री माइनस वन no it's coming so make it minus here then it will be all right okay so this root 3 minus 1 and this is cancels so it is coming minus 1 by root 3 options are given in degree okay not in this way so options are given in degree and the uh, four options are there you can get 120 degree 150 degree like this and the two uh, angles which is less than 90 degree so two angles less than 90 degree we cannot take because we know all the angles in the first quadrant always uh, positive according to trigonometry to all sin tan cos already i have explained that one also in the last class now <clears throat> since it is negative so all sin tan cos all sin tan cos so tan is negative means it may be in the second quadrant or it is maybe in the third quadrant but according to the uh, Degree given, it cannot be in the third quadrant. This is given only one twenty degree and one fifty degree, so it cannot be in the fourth quadrant. So it will be in the second quadrant. So both the angles we have to take one twenty degree or one fifty degree. What we will match here? So one fifty degree and one thirty one twenty degree. It uh, we cannot get this one twenty degree cannot be because of what tan. One eighty degree one fifty four one fifty degree is coming. Like this, one eighty minus one thirty. It's coming one fifty degree, and this is odd number change. Even number two into ninety degree, if we can uh, find out, so it is. It will be two into ninety degree means odd number change. Even number no change. No change means it will be tan thirty degree. It will be tan thirty degree, and since it is two into ninety. Minus theta, so it is coming second quadrant. All sine positive, so it is tan thirty degree. And we know tan thirty degree is one by root three. So minus one by root three is this. So answer is tan one fifty degree. This is the option. Options are there. Just check your book. Okay. Now. Next is sum number six. The intercepts of the straight line seven x plus eight y plus fifty six is equal to zero. Intercept. Find the intercepts actually on x and y axis. On x and y. How to find it? So we have to just convert this equation in the int. This is x plus b y plus c form. We have to convert this equation in the form of Intercept. How to write? Just fifty is a constant term. We have to take to the right hand side. Then what we will write? Seven x plus eight y is equal to minus fifty six. Then we have to divide this whole seven x by minus fifty six plus eight y by minus fifty six is equal to one. So it's coming minus eight and it's coming y by Minus seven is equal. So x intercept is minus eight and y intercept is minus seven. So answer will be there are many options. So answer is this. This is the options minus eight and minus seven. This option, option number one. This is correct. Next, these are all one marks questions. Now. Find the perpendicular distance of the straight line. Find the perpendicular distance. This is sum number seven. Perpendicular distance of the straight line three x plus four y plus fifteen equal to zero from origin. From origin means zero zero. Okay, we have to find the perpendicular distance from the origin. How to find the perpendicular distance? 
perpendicular distance modulus always perpendicular distance cannot be negative that is why always we have to take the modulus form that means only magnitude we will uh, take so 3 into the point is x is here and here point is 0 0 so 3 into 0 plus 4 into 0 plus 15 whole divided by square root of coefficient of x is what 3 so coefficient of x is square so coefficient of x means 3 square and coefficient of y is 4 so it's coming 4 square this is the perpendicular distance of perpendicular this is the rule to find the perpendicular distance so 0 0 0 15 by square root of 3 square plus 4 square means 9 plus 16 square root of 15 is square root of 25 is again 5 so it's coming 3 units so this is the rule to find the perpendicular distance from 0 0 to the straight line Next is similar, okay. Other sums coming with new video.